guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel this is me alicia this is your first time here and if not welcome back all right so we are back with another episode in our outfit formula series before we get into the details let's do a quick round robin with what i have on and then we'll get into the video okay as always my jewelry is from the live and fearless collection i have a couple of older necklaces that i don't think are around but all of the rings i love i'm a ring girl in the fall and the winter because i guess there's a lot of long sleeves so you really can't see a lot of my um like arms so i do really good with like or i'm heavy with the earrings and then i've got these like statement um earrings on my shirt slash dress is just a little sweater dress i'll pop it up here it's a knit dress that i got from micah's it's really cute however i don't know if i'll actually be able to wear it as a full-on dress um this is an extra large and even still then you'll be able to see and i'll maybe i'll pop up the video of me once you get past the stomach the hips and the thighs you can see like space where the buttons are and i don't know if i can't find anything to fix that then i'll just wear this as like a cardigan or like a long shirt um i really wish i could wear it as a dress but so far it's looking like um a cardigan or a shirt type thing and i hopefully i'm showing you guys up here but it's really cute it's really comfortable um like i said i did get it in an extra large but i just love i love this green color for the fall so that's what i'm wearing let's get into the video all right so guys if you watch the first episode of the outfit formula i gave you guys three different formulas outfit formulas you can wear regardless of your shape style preference you can immediately put together and be that girl that moment that main character now my favorite seasons are here fall and winter and we are coming with the fall fashions i love fall and winter I mean the looks be looking the layers be layering the colors be coloring <laughs> I absolutely love it so these are going to be three different outfit formulas perfect for the fall and the winter I did do a little bit more research on these so there are going to be a couple of different variations depending on your body type or body style but in essence the outfit formula should stay the same like I said with a couple of different variations. As with the first video I'll have a couple of examples or quite a few examples up here to kind of give you guys inspirations. Also in alignment with the first video there'll be no links. There'll be no links because I know your closet is full. I know your closet is packed, especially now that you've changed out and now you've got your fall looks between the sweaters and the jackets. Closet is packed. So this is going to be your inspiration. And then you're going to take that inspiration, move it to your closet and find your outfits. Okay. All right. Let's get into the first one. All right, the first one is more casual, and I would say this one is more of my go-to outfit formula when I'm out running errands, but then I might do something else. I might grab dinner with a friend. I might grab lunch with a friend. I might go somewhere that needs a little bit more elevation. So I'm going to wear my jogger set. Jogger sets, I, I get that COVID is now, you know, kind of in the back burner and people want to wear all the fashions, but do not, do not underestimate the power of a good structured jogger set i'm living for it i'm loving it so we're going to do our jogger set and then we're going to pair that we're either going to pair that with a nice structured blazer that's going to be my go-to i love a good jogger set blazer combination or if you have a structured coat i wouldn't do anything super oversized because you don't want it to look too baggy and too pared down so we're going to do something structured whether that's a blazer or that is a coat and then we're going to pair that so normally for me i'll pair it with some sneakers if i'm out running errands and then i'm going to have some mules in the car Bar, right to slip into so we're gonna have either one of those and then if you want to elevate it just a little bit this is where it ain't everybody's cup of tea I get it but when I'm out running errands I'm gonna have on a ball cap if I'm going somewhere else dinner lunch mall and I kind of want to be fancy I'm gonna put on a fedora like I said, it doesn't, everybody isn't that fedora or like that hat period girly. So the base of the outfit is just going to be joggers and some kind of structured layer, whether that's a structured blazer or a structured trench coat. I know if, if you're like in Chicago or up north, you're going to need some a little bit more layers, uh, a little bit more worn. So we're going to do either one of those are structured. And then the accessories is where it kind of depends on your taste, on your flavor. So you can do, um, you can do sneakers, or you can do mules, or if you want to be that girly, you can do heels. Because I've seen some people do a jogger heel combination, and it is gorgeous. I can't do it because heels ain't heels aren't in my life right now. 
but I've seen it gorgeous. So you can do, that's one variation. And then the second variation is of course, you can either do a hat, a fedora, or no hat at all. Second variation, and then of course you could always jazz it up with jewelry. Fancy it up with a nice bag or pair it down with a nice casual bag. There are so many other different ways to pair this, but the base of the outfit, joggers and some kind of structured layering on top whether that's a blazer or a trench coat all right our next outfit formula that i feel like with every outfit formula i'm going to give you a white blouse option because me and white blouses go together the long way <laughs> and that is a white blouse right and you can choose to knot it tuck it in on the side however your body type you feel comfortable um we're going to have on a crop jacket a crop leather jacket or a crop trench jacket like crop trench coats have made a wave like it's been it's crazy that cropped trench jackets are now in trend and then we're going to have on some jeans and what i will say is that your body type is going to depend on what jeans you feel more comfortable wearing you could do a skinny jean and if you do a skinny jean i would really pair that with a calf a knee or an over the knee boot just to add a little bit more structure to your look um, if you're going to do a wide leg jean if you're doing a wide leg jean i would not the shirt and then I, you could do anything from a sneaker you could do a booty because they're only going to see the tip of it um, or anything like that and then of course if you want to do a mule or if you want to do a a heel I would do more of like a mom or a dad or a straight leg pant so the pant is really going to depend on what the footwear is but your the base of your outfit is going to be a white blouse a crop jacket of some kind whether that's leather or a trench and then of course the jean is where you have fun and you can pair whatever jean you want to wear footwear is where you have fun you can even have fun on the jacket like i said you can do leather or you can do a trench i'm this close to buying the trench coat from zara i got one from the thrift store and it just it didn't give what i thought it was going to give so i'm so close i saw a couple on boohoo um but i don't want to continue to spend money where it's not giving the look that I wanted to give. So we're actually going to, I'm going to Vegas in a couple of weeks and there's a very large Zara store. I'm being honest, if I see it and I try it on and it hits, I'm gonna pay for it. Alicia, you're really gonna pay $90 for a trench coat? Absolutely, because I've seen, I've seen the looks that it's giving and I like them. So blouse, crop jacket, jeans, and you can have fun doing anything and everything with that, but the base of that look, it's a vibe. All right, and then our last look, which I feel like I'm cheating here, but I'm not because people truly underestimate the power. And that is not just monochrome, monochrome fall looks. What I mean by that, I mean like your rich emerald green. I mean like your deep purple, your burgundy, your burnt orange, your cream monochrome with the fall looks. The pink, you can leave the pinks over here. You can leave the high yellows, you can leave the oranges. That's great, and that's it's still a vibe, but we're talking about fall and winter. We want like those rich, like the colors that you see when the leaves slowly start changing colors. That's the vibe we're looking for. So burnt orange, burgundy, the deep reds, the deep purples, the deep greens. That's the look that we're looking for. Once again, I don't know of anyone, and I've, I've been all on Pinterest. I've been all on Instagram. I can't give you someone that did a monochrome fall look and it wasn't a vibe. I'm so, I have so many monochrome outfits that I cannot wait to pull out because it's just, oh, I love it. Fall monochrome. It's always going to be a vibe. It's always going to be a look. As I said in the first video, you kind of want to make sure that everything isn't either super tight. So you want to make sure you don't have on a tight top, a tight tight pants tight jacket you want there to be some kind of differentiation between like an oversize and then a structure look or a structure down here and then oversize up here you kind of want to be able to pair the two together and i'll bring up quite a few examples of here on different body types but especially like the emerald green you guys don't like me and green best friends I mean, I mean hello do you see my lids I, if, if there was any indication what my favorite color was to wear besides neutrals hello exhibit a and exhibit b i love green so it might be cheating it might be cheating because i'd be like they might be like that's not a real outfit formula okay well i'm sorry that seems like an outfit formula to me put 
the same color together top and the bottom especially if you can find like the top and the bottom and the shoes to match Bro oh i forgot brown brown i just i just posted a brown look up here it's a vibe all right, so guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this outfit formula. My goal for these is to make these quick and easy and to really more so give you inspiration rather than just like talk on and on and on about how I feel the outfit formula is a vibe. So I'm hoping I was able to give you guys a lot of inspiration. Like I said before, I will link the first outfit formula video for you guys in the description box and also in the cards. And hopefully the last one, which is will contain four different formulas, isn't going to take a month and a half. I'm hoping to have it the first first Sunday in November so that way you can wrap this up so when you're doing like holidays and outfits and parties and Christmas dinners you have a good plethora of like different formulas to choose from so if you have made it this far in the video you have not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me while you're here guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe I'm gonna see you guys Thursday seven o'clock later